going to Richmond this week. Uh, it's the Toyota Owners 400. So does that mean we just take Ford out of the picture and Chevy out of the picture? And <laughs> well, I, I mean, Kyle Larson's the defending winner. Oh so. well, maybe not then. Yeah. So uh, you know, we you know Joy Legato used to win the Pennzoil 400 at Vegas a lot, but that that's that's also true. And and of course, Denny Hamlin uh, used to win the Richmond race quite a bit as well. So you know, I would not. Given the start to the season, given the speed they've had in the cars, and the fact that um, they were dominant with the new short track package at Phoenix, um, I would not discount the Toyota's chances this weekend, whether or not the, the race is named in, on their behalf. <laughs> but uh, I, I think that any of those four Joe Gibbs racing drivers would have to be in my top picks to win the race. What do you think about them moving the Richmond races back to nighttime, Lee? I mean, I think a lot of us have felt like they were we were getting better races. Well, okay, there haven't been a lot of great races at Richmond lately anyway, but I think we felt like we were getting better races during the daytime. I think a lot of it is just done for TV and the fact that it's Easter and because they're going to move up the Xfinity race, that gives teams – the opportunity to go back to Charlotte if they want to have Easter, spend Easter morning with their families, go to church, you know, have a little family get together before they have to come to the track. So between accommodating TV and accommodating the race teams, it makes sense. Now, will it make for better racing? It really depends how cold it is. I mean, I, I like hot slick tracks for short tracks and um, haven't look, really looked at what the forecast says, but, um, you know, Richmond has been lacking its entertainment value now for a few years. And I'm not, you know, we should be talking about, you said we didn't talk about the short track package at Coda, but um, I have to believe that we'll be talking about it this weekend, whether it's a good entertaining race or not. Does this become really, I mean, I know that we, we ran it at Phoenix. Does this become a better test of the new short track package or do we see, did we see a little bit at Phoenix and we're going to see more now? Well, I think, I think naturally you'll see more because the longer the teams have to work with it, the more that they can tailor it to their needs. And so, yeah, I think we'll see more out of it at, at Richmond. Um, I think the fact that it's a three quarter mile track rather than a, a one mile track will make a difference. But the, the key at Richmond is um, to have two lanes working and that's what we haven't had um very much in the last few years and that's what we really need there i don't need i don't know whether they need to treat the track there um as they have done as they did at bristol with a new track you know traction compound this time but for whatever reason um they have not had success r r racing in the outside lane at, at richmond and i think that's really what we need there I mean, that's one of the interesting things because for years, Richmond put on such great shows. And now the last three or four years, it's been just very, I, I, you almost become a victim of your own success at some, at some point where the expectations are extremely high and Richmond hasn't delivered on those expectations. And when there's a, there's an old saying, Lee, I guess somewhere along the line of the, the hardest thing to live up to is high expectations. Well, there was a time when I would say uh, during COVID, I didn't miss not having to go there, <laughs> which is, you know, it's kind of sad um, because you anticipate action at a short track and at the action track, at the action track. Um, it hasn't been the action track of late and it'll be, you know, I'll be curious to see whether or not because they tested the beginnings of what the short track package is at richmond to kind of you know get an idea but um i the jury's going to be out until you know sometime on monday the i mean the drivers really like racing there i mean that's that's one thing that's pretty pretty much universal but i think the fans in the stands and watching on tv need to see more of the typical beating and banging that we're used to at short tracks how important is it for guys like joey logano who have struggled so far for these guys to get just to have a good run to feel positive about something well josh berry finished second in this race last year he hasn't been on the radar screen and you expect him to shine 
on short tracks. Um, Bristol, you know, with it being his home track, other than, you know, Nashville Fairgrounds or whatever, um, you want to see what these guys are capable of doing. Ryan Priest is another one. You anticipate he's going to run well there. Um, it, it's not your typical, you know, 1.5 mile track, which have been extremely entertaining with this car. Um, but it, it's going to be curious to see whether or not it becomes a traditional Richmond, the same guys up at the top, or if we do get some surprises, which are nice. I mean, is this a place where Ty Gibbs can, you know, flip the switch and boom, we have a new winner. He's certainly one of my top four. And the others are all raced for the same organization, too. 